Okay there, Gamsters channel and ham radio enthusiasts. Welcome, blah, 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 blah. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you there, madam or sir, master or missy, whatever the case you'll be. Games and more. And NI1G here. Yeah, NI1G, that is my call sign. All right. What we're going to get into is some VoIP ham radio programs that you can get. And some of them are not really that expensive. So there's a there's one that's free. You know, if you, you're a ham radio operator and you live in an apartment or someplace, you can't have antennas. It isn't real ham radio, okay? It's over voice, over internet protocol. Kind of like Skype without the cameras. Uh, I'm going to get into Echolink in a little while. And Echolink is actually older than Skype. Uh, Echolink is like 20-something years old now. They were doing that before there was even a Skype. But this QSO net, this thing will run you $39 a year. Okay? Back to you, Telly. g 0 bxl jh 2 That's a little preview of it from a... YouTube video, just a little preview, but I'm going to do my own preview on this here in a couple minutes. But like I said, $39 a year. You have to uh, send them a copy of your ham radio license. And that's easy to do. They want to verify that you are a real ham radio operator. Kind of like that uh, Echolink wants you to validate your license. To use it. Echo Link's a little bit better. You can go over actual repeaters and stuff like that. And we'll be getting into that in a minute or two. Like I said, uh, Echo Link is down is down the line here. But thirty nine dollars a year. If you live in an apartment, there's all kinds of traffic on there. There is five bands on this program. You can also do CW. You can send pictures if you have the full, the full version, which I do. If you're a ham radio operator, you can uh, try it out free for uh, 30 days. And I think on Sundays, also it said, you just download it. Um, but on Sundays, yeah, right here. And that's them. It's a guy in Canada that made this. He's a software designer. It's, like I said, it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty good, cool program. If you live somewhere where you can't have antennas, you don't have to buy a um, expensive radio. Just that. Just got to have a, a mic. There we go. I don't think they have any clout, you know. I mean, uh, somebody listening, then they would have to report you, I suppose, to the FCC. And I would imagine if they... And it just takes the... There's no class in it. And, uh, and I get thinking, well, hey, I talk that way too. And I noticed I'm starting to do that again. And uh, anyway, you bring stuff up and, and I start thinking about it. Hey, I'm... Let me show you a little bit here. To transmit, all you got to do is hit your uh, space bar. Have a good mic hooked to it. Easy. It's kind of like Echolink. You uh, hit the uh, space bar. But you can reprogram it for other things. Now, the thing on the bottom there, that's the QSO TV. 
you got the full membership, you know, $39 a year. People can send you pictures. I wouldn't be sending no nudie pictures over the year, though, but I heard some people got in trouble. Here, there's me transmitting. N-I-1-G. Right there. It'll, it'll, it'll give you call sign. You can change that, you know, your call sign. You, you can change it to say whatever you want. TV's over nine, but I wouldn't. I, you know, try, me trying to find some... talking like that, you know, and uh, I'm getting better at avoiding all that profanity, but I still do it, you know, an occasional hell or an occasional damn to emphasize a phrase may be okay. Leave it on ham radio. I don't think uh, damn is a bad word. It means a whole water. Yeah, it's spelled differently. All right, let's go on to Echolink. This is older than Skype, but like I said, it doesn't have the uh, camera on it. Now, it's got this test server, and the test server makes you sound bad. If you play it back, you'll hear popping. It's always been that way, but that, this is how you validate your license. You put your call sign in. Boom. You know, it'll send you an email. If it's been validated or are you really that person? Uh, when I drove truck, I could get on an Echolink uh, repeater over there in um, Wyoming and talk back to Tampa. Tampa, they're having trouble with one of the Echolink repeaters. I would show it to you on the uh, handheld. That it works. But yeah, I think they're having trouble with one of them. I can't key it up. I haven't heard it uh, ID or nothing for a while. Here we go. Welcome to the Echolink test server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. All right, right here I'm going to put my call sign in. And it's going to play it back to me. But it sounds a little fuzzy. You'll all uh, see that. And I won you. It's got a little noise in it. Um, I wish they would get it straightened like, like Skype. Here we go again. And I won you. I brought the volume of my mic up. I'm using the Behringer mic that I that I use all the time. All right, we disconnected from the test server. Let's try some other stuff here. Golf Bravo 3 Oscar Alpha Southport UK. Please announce your call sign twice and slowly for those with hearing problems. All right, that's a repeater in the UK. And we're gonna try another one in the UK. I don't know if anybody's around on that one. Right, let's try another one. Somewhere, somewhere else. You are connected to the GB3BN repeater, Bracknell, Berkshire. Link on. All right, we got that. So, And they also have some uh, closed conferences, but you can't talk on them uh, like the AWRL Newsline. Welcome to the Newsline server. This week's Newsline report will begin in 10 seconds and pause periodically. Amateur Radio Newsline report number 2149 with a release date of Friday, January 4th, 2019 to follow in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The following is a QST. In New York, amateurs line up for Ham Radio University. British YL is prepared to turn 40 in style, and in the U.S., the FCC announces it could suspend some of its operations as part of a partial government shutdown. All this and more as Amateur Radio Newsline Report 2149 comes your way right now. All right, there's that. There's that. So this is how Echolink runs. Um, 
I also have um, All Star. I don't know, their Java thing ain't working. I redid my Java, but I think they're moving it over to a new site. They've been doing that since um, September. I mean, the All Star stuff does still work on the other repeaters, just the uh, internet um, version of it. But this is mainly an open source. It likes the Linux stuff and um, the open source software, you know, uh, operating systems. It works best on. So I could just put another hard drive with uh, Linux on and try it. It's an idea. See if it works. They have some downloads, but uh, it's for all. It's all open source software. Stuff. I think Echolink is P a PC based. Then you also got IRLP, and that is also open source, like Linux. Okay, here's the newer stuff, but I can't really get the uh, web thing to come up. You know, it, that's what it does right there. You know, so I think they're they're still redoing their stuff a little bit. At, at this time, the re, the web, web transceiver would come up. No, it's not coming up on for me. Now this is IRLP. No, there is no um, web transceiver or anything. It'll let you know node list. Yeah. This is similar to Echolink that you can hook a repeater to another repeater with a handheld or a mobile with a DTMF pad. It's been a while since I've been on an IRL repeater. I don't know if we have any here in my hometown to speak of. But there are stuff you, you can buy for your computer to hook into this is what it was saying you know some of the stuff's a little pricey some not so much this stuff right here right there to the right that's a repeater yeah it's a little expensive uh, you know starting up repeaters yeah you gotta have a tower and this and that and this and that but wanted you to get you know, I still love ham radio. I'm still a, an extra class ham radio operator. Like I said, some of the things I understand, some I don't. You know, some is uh, beyond my pay grade. <laughs> Let's just say that. There we go. All right. So I don't only do games. I do my, uh, this is my other hobby. You know, if you want to get a license, if you're in the United States, uh, you know, just study for it. It's pretty, your technician is pretty easy. All right. Well, we got to do this. Well, you know how this is going to go. Let's get ready for the outro. And it's going to start right about now. Eh? So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her? Give her a likes up, please. Let's see how high we can get them likes to go to adults and kitties. Everyone would love it. Feel free to leave a mature comment. Want to see more videos like this? Or other said it went on the ch -ch 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 channel. Don't be shy. Please subscribe. See you in the next video. Adventure here. See ya.